Okay, let's play with files a little bit in Squeak. First of all, let's see what happens when we type in file directory default and print it out. Okay, on my system we get file directory on this whole blah 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 thing. All right, so we could work with that, or there's a slightly easier way perhaps. Let's work with this file list to modal folder selector. And we're going to start at the file directory default. So we go ahead and evaluate it. And we start out at the same directory. And if we had actually printed this instead, let's print it. And selected an OK, we would have gotten exactly the same directory listing. All right. That's cool. Now let's move down a little bit and let's type in my directory colon equals. And I want to create a directory that doesn't come all the way out into this weird Macintosh stuff. So let's say test. First of all, let's check to see that there's no such directory. Here we are, the squeak all in one folder but we don't have anything. So let's go ahead and say my directory blah. And we could do a create directory like this. File directory new, create directory. So let's go ahead and create it. And check. And sure enough, there's a directory now named test. Let's move down a little bit. Let's create something called a stream. A stream is a stream of characters or bytes or whatever. Um, the transcript window is actually a window onto a, a stream. And just about all of the same output methods work for the transcript windows work for a file stream. So we're going to execute this code. We select it and do it. This creates a new multi-byte file stream, that is to say a Unicode um, text stream, force a new file named my directory slash timestamp now, which gives you the current time, comma, test. So let's see what it does. It creates a new file named 9 December 2011 at 5.48.59 a.m. test. Now we're going to put in that right now. It has nothing in it. We open it. There's nothing. So let's put a little bit of text in it. And now if we open it, close that out reopen it. Sure enough, it has a little bit of test. Let's try that again. Test, test. And if we were to open it again, we would see it has test, test, test. Now, recall I said that certain of the um, same things that work with the transcript will work with this. So let's try adding a carriage return and do that several times. Test, test, test. Close it and open it again. And sure enough, we just added a carriage return after each of the new tests. So you get the idea. So that's a simple way of creating files. So let's close this file to make sure that we're not going to append to it anymore. And there you have the easy way to make files. Now we could also open files with, there we go, yeah, with a different kind of uh, bit of code. We are going to open from the file chooser, initialize this dialog box, so we'll get a nice little dialog box thing. Open it, and sure enough, we get our thing again. We want to look at our test folder. And there's that 
stream of text we were looking at, open it, and now we have a stream. If we inspect that stream by performing stream inspect, we see we get a multi -file, byte file stream. Position is zero. Name is the whole name. And we could actually manipulate it and see what it actually has in it. So we could actually work with it and say give me the next character and so on.